So hello guys, uh, we're taking a look at the performance in Pokemon Scarlet and uh, now I did complain in my uh, live stream that the performance was all over the place but not only that, uh, the popping was awful, uh, the NPCs, uh, they could like update like 5 FPS when you are uh, basically uh, like 50 meters away from them and uh basically it was a mess so we are like uh, on a stock switch and uh so stock cpu stock uh, gpu uh, frequency uh the ram is also stock as well so uh i'm just going to go, to go uh, all the way there so, so as you can see uh it goes as low as like 25 fps and this is running off the uh game cartridge so yes, 21, pretty bad. Uh, so yeah, uh, this makes the game really annoying to uh, play on real, real hardware, unfortunately. Uh, to the point that you are better off playing this game on the Yuzu emulator, because it's that bad. Uh, so now I'm going to show you uh, how the game performs when I overclock the CPU, GPU and the memory as well. Because as you can see, uh, this game is mostly uh, GPU bound. So as you can see, it's like 99%. Uh, uh, and when it reaches 99%, then the game drops uh, below 25 and stuff like that. So uh, now I'm going to overclock. So I set the CPU to the max, GPU to the max. Unfortunately, I cannot overclock the, the GPU much further than that because uh, this is uh, uh, the first revision switch. Uh, if you have like a Mariko chip, uh, you can actually overclock the GPU much further than that. And that will get you much better performance. And uh, now if you, the RAM, in my case, I have overclocked it to 2100 megahertz. And uh, right now the CPU temperature is mostly decent. Um, so let's take a look at the frame rate again. And as you can see, it doesn't drop as low as like uh, 25 FPS or so. Uh, it uh, sometimes it goes as low as like 22 FPS, but then it goes right back up. But yeah, as you can see, overclocking uh, does make a difference. But I suspect that uh we're not actually like cpu bound in this case we're mostly gpu and memory bandwidth uh but yeah basically it's a it's a memory bandwidth issue as well as the gpu which is not uh i mean it's like it's less than one gigahertz right now and on the stock switch it would be less than uh, 800 megahertz so not a whole lot and it would be even worse than that on in handheld mode so uh i'm going to try to mimic handheld mode now unfortunately uh, i cannot like uh, force or tell the game to uh to basically uh, mimic the handheld mode but in, in handheld mode uh the gpu is set to or 460 megahertz memory is well didn't stop basically uh now let's see the performance now so i have uh down clock the gpu and yeah yeah as you can see it gets real awful but that's mostly because we we are running like in dark mode but yeah as you can see uh 20 fps when we uh underclock the gpu so now i'm going to overclock the gpu again okay and now yeah so well, we are already at like 20 fps but we're not quite there at like 30 fps so the ram does play a role in the GPU performance as well. So if I set it to the stock speed, so this, then I go, I go check again. 
guess. So, uh, not quite 30, but close. Of sorts. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, like, I've all clocked the GPU, but even that is not enough to get decent performance. Uh, so I'm going to overclock again. Oh, yes, you memory max. Okay, okay. Now, look at the 30 FPS. Well, not quite, but you know. So I do hope we get a patch because like even overclocking does not fix like the uh, issue with popping and you know just the uh, like the low frame rate uh, for NPCs so for example the NPC on the bill you can see that the updates at like 5 FPS the ones close to me uh, they are perfectly fine the one in star you know not that far away you can see that they don't update at the at the full frame rate uh so yeah that's pretty much it guys so in short the game is uh starved for bandwidth and the gpu is also uh i mean you will need to overclock the gpu much further than that to get decent performance uh, so, unfortunately, just overclocking the RAM does not make a huge difference. Uh, if you do both, then you get mostly 30 FPS. Uh, but that doesn't fix the other issues. Now, if you overclock the CPU, it doesn't make a huge difference in this game. And in fact, uh, I'm, I'm like at the max. And the CPU utilization is at like 50%. Uh, so very unlikely for that game to be uh, CPU limited, although that could happen, I suppose. And I noticed that during the uh, loading times, uh, the game would temporarily uh, overclock the CPU. I mean, that's pretty frequent in most Switch games, actually. But Nintendo, uh, they only allow uh, developers to overclock the CPU when you are loading new assets most of the time. Uh, the game has to be uh, underclocked to so 1 gigahertz, even in uh, docked mode. So anyway, that's pretty much it guys, so thank you and bye.